it was great for us to get the win. You know, it wasn't pretty in the end, and uh, we definitely lost a big lead, but um, to win third place is, is great for this team, great for the staff, and uh, great for the club in general. Uh, what happened during that successful third uh, quarter that you guys made that huge lead for you, for yourselves? I think we just started playing great basketball. We got some stops, and uh, we're making plays and on the other end and getting good, easy baskets. So um, that's when we're at our best, and then when we're at our worst is what we did in the fourth quarter. So um, it was a, a weird mixture, but like I said, we, we just had enough of a lead to uh, squeeze it out. How many nerve cells you burned during the end of the game? You know what, it was just, it was a weird situation where that lead starts getting smaller and smaller, and um, you, know, you just gotta really stay calm, and we didn't do a great job of that, but um, it was just enough. So that's all that matters. What will it take to celebrate to the fullest the third place in Euroleague? What will it take? Yeah, what what part you will it take to celebrate to the fullest? Oh, it's going to be a good one, I think. Uh, you know, you Lithuanians really know how to party, so uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good one. The guys are going to have a great time, and uh, uh, we're going to celebrate this for sure. And for the end, uh, I want you to comment on the fan support during this whole Final Four uh, campaign for Zagreb. Yeah, the fans are unbelievable. Uh, we can't thank them enough for their support and. Uh, they really make us want to just work hard every single day when we have that kind of support. And um, not just the fans here, they were obviously amazing at the Final Four, but all season they've been um, unbelievable and uh, we really can't thank them enough. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. So, Mr. Aramite, yes. good to have you here in our radio show. And first of all, your comment about the game. Yeah, it was a fun game for sure, um, up until maybe the last eight minutes when it got a little bit uh, crazy. Um, but, you know, it's a big accomplishment for us to take third place and it means a lot, as you saw in the crowd and um, for this club is is very special. What were the specifics of that important third quarter when you guys made that huge lead for yourself? Yeah, we had a lot of different guys making plays. Um, it seems like they were stuck on 39 for like five or six minutes, so a lot of it started with our defense and, um, yeah. I think when we're playing defense and getting out and getting good shots, uh, we're, we showed all year we're a tough team to beat. <clears throat> How are you going to celebrate this one, the third place trophy for yourself? Do we get a trophy? I don't know, maybe or not, but uh, imaginary trophy maybe, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but still, how are you going to celebrate this one? No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, we'll celebrate. Obviously, everyone's excited. Um, I'm not sure. You'll have to ask Captain what the plan is, but uh, yeah, we'll all be together and to celebrate. and. Uh, a huge, huge accomplishment for you know not only tonight but it's kind of a culmination of the whole year league season and uh, yeah like I said it means a lot to the club and to all of our players and uh, I think we enjoy to celebrate it. I know that coaches prepare good game plans this season so they're going to prepare a good celebration plan as well. Yeah it's usually Sangalia's job you know to uh, prepare us for the celebration. It seems like every time we win something um, of importance of the cup or tonight he's he's the one that's orchestrating it so yeah. Great game plan from Singalia tonight. All right, and yeah. finally, what's your comment about uh, fan support during this whole Final Four campaign in Belgrade? Uh, it's amazing. Um, you know, when we got here, uh, I saw on Twitter this video of all the fans downtown uh, lined up, and it's it's like it's unbelievable. You know, for everyone to travel and uh, probably take off time from work, and um, you know, they live and breathe for for Joggers basketball. So it, it means a lot to us, and. Um, it's a great thing to be a part of and I thought you know kind of that moment at the end where we got to celebrate with them was really cool and I, th I hope that they know like we appreciate how much uh, they meant all year long whether it was at home or even on the road every road game uh, we had a ton of fans it seemed like supporting us so uh, it's the backbone of the club and uh, we really appreciate them. Thank you.